Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and this is Boot Fitting 101. In this video, we're gonna be talking about narrowing pads, which can be used for those of you that bought boots that were too big, too wide, or have severe pack out. Narrowing pads solely exist because your foot is too narrow for the boot it's in, or there was severe pack out, or for some reason, you just bought the wrong boot. And it works just how you think. It tightens up around the outside of the foot between the shell and the liner, sucking up that excess volume and making it more snug around the foot. It's very easy to use. You can see it right here. I've already put one on. So in order to do this fix, you're gonna need four things. A set of narrowing pads, a heat gun, a razor knife, and as always, duct tape. Now, when you go to put these on the liner, you generally want to go with the outside and you want to line it up below the ankle bone. Now, it will overlap the natural J-bar in your boots, so be prepared for it to have some excess pressure put on there and you might have to trim it, which, as I've said before in other videos, do not be afraid to cut a little bit of the foam away. And then what you're going to do is line it up in front of the ankle bone and along the outside of your foot. You want to make sure that it stops right around where your pinky toe stops, right in that area. That way it's gonna suck up the most volume on the side of the boot right here. Now you can line it up on the inside of the boot and it's the exact same concept. You wanna make sure that it's in front of the ankle bone and put there. What you're gonna to have to deal with though is your inner navicular bone, which is the bone below the ankle bone that sometimes protrudes. Some people have this, some people don't. I do, it's an issue that I deal with especially when fitting. So you have to take that into consideration and you may have to trim around that when you have put it on. Now when it comes to putting this narrowing pad on the liner, you wanna make sure you know where your ankle bone sits inside that liner. So if you have to mark it, use a grease pen or a Sharpie and just make an X right where the ankle bone is. As you can see here on this liner, it's pretty obvious that the ankle bone will sit right in this pocket just with the natural shape of the boot. And if you haven't done any other modifications and this is the only one you need to do, then you don't have to worry. But if you've done a heel wedge, bond text board or anything, you're probably sitting a little bit higher in there. So you just want to make sure you find out where it is and you mark it if you need to. Once you do that, you're going to peel the backing off the narrowing pad, hit it with the heat gun so that the adhesive gets a little more sticky and place it on. Then you're going to hit it again with the heat gun and then push your hand into it to help mold it to the liner. Once you've done that, let it cool and then slide it back into the shell of the boot and tighten it up and see if you have any hot spots. Now, as you'll notice with mine, I actually trimmed the lower part right where that seam is so that it wouldn't be hitting on that and causing pressure points, as well as trimming it out so that it kind of naturally curves to the top of the liner as it dips down right where the ankle pocket is. Now, there really isn't a right or wrong way to trim this. You just gotta go with the natural contours of the liner and your foot shape, but this is going to suck up volume. And the same can be said about if you do it on the inner side of the boot as well. If you're gonna do both boots, you need to order two sets of pads, and I strongly recommend getting them from tonar.com. Once you've tried on the boot and you've seen where the hotspots are and you trimmed it if you need to, you can pull it back out and cover it with duct tape as I did here and hit it with the heat gun. And that's pretty much it. That's gonna suck up that lateral play in the boot and make it a little more snug. You now, if you did buy a boot that's too big for you, you're gonna need some other work, which I would strongly recommend looking at the toe shim video as well as the tongue shim video. All right, so hopefully this is gonna help you guys fix up a problem of having a boot that's a little too wide. If it is, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from it. And as always, if you think I'm full of shit, I know you're gonna leave a comment down below and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, set those notifications to all, that way you won't miss any of our videos. I don't even know why you'd want notifications some of the time, but YouTube thinks you do. And if you really wanna support us, check out Angry Snowboarder VIP. Boot Fitting 101 was brought to you by the fine folks of the community of Angry Snowboarder VIP. They wanted boot fitting videos, they helped fund boot fitting videos, and we gave you boot fitting videos. You can have a say in the content that we make. 
So I'd love to see you guys over there. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.